This is an introduction video to Modern Foreign Languages at GCSE. To do a GCSE in a language, we are looking for students who are already keen linguists, uh, students who are willing to go beyond what they learn in the classroom. Those of you who are interested in travelling or exploring other cultures and other ways of life or would maybe like to work abroad one day would enjoy learning German or French at GCSE level. If you've already enjoyed learning a language in years 7, 8 and 9, then GCSE could be for you. The type of person that you need to be uh, to study a language at GCSE, uh, well, you need to be adventurous, you need to be brave enough to have a go, you will make mistakes, and that's okay, it's all just part of the learning uh, language process. Uh, you need to be enthusiastic, and keen to express your opinions and make the most of every opportunity that you've got in the classroom and any other opportunities that you get to use your language skills. Uh, you will also need to be well motivated. It's not an easy option but uh, with your teacher's support and with determination from yourselves uh, you will get a good GCC grade here at Arius. Although a lot of the topics we look at are similar to the ones we covered in Year 7, 8 and 9, like family, holidays and free time, we go into a lot more detail. This is good because you can build on what you already know. Some of the vocabulary is already familiar and then you develop the language you already have. This means it becomes much easier and more fun to use a language because you can say what you want to say. You are expected to work more independently and there is a lot more of pair and group work. We also get to work in small groups with the assistant to help us to become more confident speaking German and to learn more about the country. This is totally different to being in a normal classroom and the assistants usually prepare games to make practices, practicing the language of fun. Although it's quite hard work, I'm glad I chose German for GCSE because it could help me in the future and because it is a fun and enjoyable subject. In learning another language, you will develop a number of skills. Uh, first of all, self-confidence and communication skills. Also the ability to work with others, you do lots of pair work and also group work. Uh, you'll also learn the ability how to manage your time and work effectively and also the ability to use the knowledge that you've gained in new situations. But of course, most importantly, you will learn uh, valuable cultural knowledge and also the enviable skill of being able to speak another language and communicate with other people in another country. Um, it's also been suggested as well that once you've learned one language, it's easier to then go on and learn other languages. Modern foreign languages are assessed by speaking, writing, reading and listening. 60% of that is speaking and writing and 40% is reading and listening and the assessment is ongoing throughout year 11. So what's involved in learning a modern foreign language? Well, as we've heard before, there are four main topics you'll be covering and some of them you will have touched on before in years 7, 8 and 9. One topic is personal and social life, so that's obviously about you and your family. The second topic is local community, which is looking at your town and your area. The third topic is the world of work, which looks at jobs, careers, work experience. And the last topic you'll do is the wider world, which is looking at holidays and environment. So a lot of things are familiar to you, but we will be going into a lot more detail. If after you've done your GCSE in either French or German, you want to carry on to study the languages further, we offer AS and A level French and German at Arius High, and the results we get here are very, very good. Um, you'll find as well at university that a lot of courses let you combine a language with another subject of specialism, for example, chemistry or marketing. The, the opportunities are really vast for you. Um, and a lot of firms now are looking for linguists. So even if you do another subject as your main subject for a degree and have a language in addition to this, this will also up, open an awful lot of doors for you. Um, it can give you an advantage when you're looking for work. At the moment, there is a huge lack of linguists. There really is a shortage. And as I said before, people are looking, companies are looking for people who have language skills. So at the moment, a lot of employers are having to recruit overseas to fill the positions that they have because there aren't enough people who can speak languages. And there are opportunities in all kinds of fields, customer services, marketing, translating, 
um, recruitment are all looking at the moment for people who can speak a language. So if you're interested and you feel that you would like to or uh, feel that you could perhaps study GCSE French or German, if you have any questions or queries, if you could contact Miss Williams about French and myself, Mrs Gordon, regarding the German.